Alright, so as you can see I've made myself about five different backdrops, one, two, three, four, five, and each one getting more difficult in complexity. Um, so what we're going to do now is put code on the dinosaur. So click on the dinosaur sprite here, okay, and then you want to click on the code section of that dinosaur, which is here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to create an event when the flag is clicked. The first thing we want to do is we want to set up everything to start the game with because you might have ended the game, you might have done something where you've died in the game and you want to start it again. So whenever you click on the flag, you want to reset everything to the starting condition of the game. The first thing you do is you want to set that backdrop um, switch or set the backdrop to the first one. So it doesn't matter which level you're at, it will switch it to the first backdrop. We also want to set up a couple of different things called variables. This is a variable we want to set up called make a variable. We want to call one start x. Okay, we're going to create a variable called start y. Okay, this will allow me to set the x and y coordinates for the clip of the character. I want to set up a variable called gravity. This is the thing, the force that pulls you down onto the ground. We want to set a variable called winds. Uh, which is the points you win whenever you hit the exit, and you want a a uh, variable called fails, which is what happens whenever you touch the stalactite or later on the, the bat. Uh, you can see here that it shows it all on the screen. Now we don't want to show all of them on the screen except for the wins and fails. So what we're going to do is you're going to see these little tick boxes. Just untick gravity, untick start x, untick start y. So only wins and fails is ticked. You can see there, and I'm just going to drag it somewhere on the screen that is out of the way. I'm going to click and drag it so it's easier to read. Okay, now that's just creating the variables. I need to actually now set them. So let's start setting the x and y. Um, let's set x, start x to uh, basically where the uh, dinosaur is, which currently at the moment I'm going to put them over here. I'm going to get the starting position. I can see that the variable, the number here is minus 197. So I'm going to put here minus 197. Your number will probably be different depending on where you place it. I'm going to do the same thing with set variable, I set start y uh, 2. And you can see here the dinosaur is positioned at minus 152. Minus, so minus 52. Uh, okay. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to set the value of gravity. Um, the, the basically the the gravity allows you to control how how many pixels downwards uh, the dinosaur will go at a, a certain speed. So I'm going minus six. It's going to go down by minus six. If I did a positive number, it will go up. Um, the, the the character will move up. So minus means it's going to move down. And the number is how fast you want to move. You can change the number to minus four or minus two thousand or minus two thousand. You wouldn't see the dinosaur because he would have flown completely out of the screen straight away. So you want to use a realistic number. Minus six is good, but you can experiment with that. I'm also going to set the wins to being zero. And lastly, set the fails to be zero because that this is all the default stuff. So let's say, for example, I decided to go to this one and then I click flag. Um, Ah, oh, it set the backdrop, but it didn't set the dinosaur to start because I forgot to put one more instruction in, which is to go to X and Y. Um, but instead of putting the number in, because I've set the variable, it means I can use that variable over here. So I'm going to drag this in the variable section, start X, drag it into here, and start Y into here. This means that I, I can use these values anywhere in the game, but if I want to change it, I only need to change it up here and it will update for everywhere else in the game. So it's just a more efficient way to code. So let's try that again. There you go. That's what was meant to happen. Um, so it, it could be on any sprite, it could be on any um, backdrop. Uh, for example, if I was over here and if I had moved my character here and I want to start the game again, you click that and you see it starts it. So, back to the dinosaur, let's look at this code, okay, um, 
next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually control the dinosaur.